How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. The other day I posted a couple of videos on how to speedrun the Legend Velus Labyrinth Lost Sector. Well, that sparked a desire in me to complete and track the loot and time spent for 100 completions of that Lost Sector. That's exactly what I did for this video and I'm going to break down the results for you. I will also include my speedrunning guides for each class in the descriptions down below for you to check out. Before I get into it, if you end up enjoying the video or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. This video took quite a bit of time and effort and any support is appreciated. Also, if you already support my channel and want to further support me, consider using my Amazon affiliate links in the description if you plan to shop on Amazon anyway. Alright, the first thing I want to go over is how much time I spent in the Lost Sector, how much time I spent on the loading screens, and how long this took me overall. To do this, I made note of the exact time I started loading into my first Lost Sector and after the loading screen out of my last Lost Sector. If I took breaks in the middle of the session, I would make note of the length of those and remove that from the total time. With that said, it took me a total of 4 hours and 2 minutes to run 100 Platinum Rank Legend Velus Labyrinths. This comes out to around 25 completions per hour. Now, I wanted to get as pure of a data set as possible, so I didn't exclude any runs because of a bad completion time or anything like that. Let's take a look at some of the time statistics for my runs. My average completion time was 97 seconds, or 1 minute and 37 seconds. The absolute longest a single run took me was 2 minutes and 29 seconds, and the fastest completion time was 1 minute and 18 seconds. I do want to note that the 2.29 run was an outlier and the next slowest was 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Of the 4 hours and 2 minutes spent doing this, 2 hours and 42 minutes was spent running the Lost Sector, while 1 hour and 20 minutes was spent in loading screens in and out of the Lost Sector. This is going to depend quite a bit on whatever hardware you are using. For reference, I am using a Samsung 970 EVO Plus SSD which is relatively fast. Either way, I spent about 66% of my time in the Lost Sector and 33% of my time loading in and out of it. Alright, moving on to the loot, I'm first going to go over the total drop numbers, then I'm going to go and break it down a little bit further. Overall, from 100 Platinum completions, I got 1,652 Essence of Dawning, 58 Enhancement Cores, 46 Rare Items, 3 Legendary Items, 46 Mutation Mods for the Season of the Hunt, and 23 exotics. Alright, so not a bad haul of loot, you may be wondering if this makes it worth running. I'm going to assume you're not running it for the rare or legendary items, so I'll focus on the enhancement cores, essence of dawning, and exotics. What can you expect from a solid hour of running the Lost Sector? Well, from my experience, I got about 410 essence of dawning, 14 to 15 enhancement cores, and 5 to 6 exotics per hour. In my opinion, those are pretty great results. 5 to 6 exotics per hour ends up being an exotic every 10 to 12 minutes, which is faster than nearly any activity I can think of at the moment. Not only is it fast, but you can wait for the Legend Velus Labyrinth to drop exotics in the slot that you want, thus allowing you to focus farm exotics in that slot with ease. Now, you won't see these numbers if you're new to running the Legend Lost Sector, but you will see them after you've practiced doing them for a little while. I know my speedrunning videos have helped others out, so check them out if you want to. I also want to say that I received 23 exotics in 100 runs, which means my drop rate was approximately 23%. Now, it's possible Bungie set the drop rate to 23%, but I'm going to assume that isn't accurate due to my limited sample size. However, I do believe that the drop rate is likely 20% or 25%, and I'm leaning closer to 25%. That is incredibly good for an activity that can on average be run in 2 minutes and 25 seconds with loading times. I can't overstate just how amazing the Legend Velus Labyrinth is for solo farming exotics. There is one more piece of information that I want to go over, that is exotic stat rolls. Of the 23 exotics that I received while running this, the average stat roll was about 63. The lowest roll I received was a 58 skull of Daira Hamkara. If the game was trying to give me an absolutely awful drop, it succeeded. The highest roll I got was a 69 Apotheosis Veil, and while the exotic itself isn't great, high stat roll exotics are always welcome. Given you can get 5 to 6 exotics per hour from this activity, high stat roll exotics will be faster to acquire than other methods. I want to bring up one more thing regarding stat rolls, and while I do have a limited sample size of exotic drops, I wanted to determine a confidence interval for total stat roll on an exotic. 
I won't get into the nitty gritty detail of what's going on here, but the 99% confidence interval for the total stat roll on an exotic is approximately 61 to 64. If you know what that means, then great. For those who don't, I'll simply say that the vast majority of exotics that you receive in-game will have a total stat in the 61 to 64 range. With a larger sample size, this range will probably be refined a little bit, but given my experience with exotic drops, this seems to be quite accurate. Alright, that's it for my breakdown of the loot I received from 100 Velus Labyrinth Lost Sectors on Legend Difficulty. I will have a short montage now of the 23 exotics I received, but other than that, I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one.